hello again from the National Gallery of Victoria. The gallery reopened today, launching with a blockbuster exhibition, more than 100 masterworks of French Impressionism. And to give us an escape at the end of the working week, the NGV's Friday nights are back as well. The gallery stays open late. There's live music and French-inspired food and drinks. The highlight of the exhibition is a stunning display of 16 canvases by Claude Monet, who's probably the most well-known and iconic Impressionist. The works include many of his most beloved scenes, including his garden at Cheverny. The display also boasts 79 pieces never before been exhibited in Australia and feature such luminaries as Renoir, Degas and Pissarro. And running in tandem is another important exhibition on loan from the Prado Museum in Madrid. 160 drawings by Francisco Goya, one of Spain's most significant artists. Now, Melbourne's weather has been more of a watercolour today with showers from early this morning and after an overnight low of 11, the city only improved by another two degrees. It was a few degrees warmer west of the city. Avalon reached 16, Geelong and Werribee 15. Fernie Creek only climbed from 7 to 8 degrees and unfortunately that's where heaviest showers have been. Since 9am there's been 17 millimetres, only five for the city but scattered showers are expected to continue overnight. There's been a few thunderstorms about, some across Melbourne, but quite a significant one over Cooey Rupp a couple of hours ago, and that delivered 32 millimetres, with 25 of that falling in half an hour. Tonight the system will head out to the east and dissipate overnight, so there'll be extended dry periods tomorrow before another system moves in from the west. And there'll only be light showers tomorrow, confined to southern and eastern parts of the state. And just like today, the mercury will struggle to get into the teens, and for Ballarat, it'll stay in, in single figures. It'll be another chilly day across Mount Dandenong with Fernie Creek forecast to reach 8 degrees but light showers uh, in the day with only 5 millimetres expected. The showers will clear western suburbs in the morning lingering a little longer through the east. A little warmer on Sunday, 15 with a shower or two, 15 again on Monday and although it'll be a cold morning with a low of 5, it'll be the return of sunny skies, a mostly sunny day again on Tuesday and 16 degrees up to 17 on Wednesday, a couple of wet and windy days from there, 17 on Thursday and 15 on Friday. Now, one of Melbourne's biggest draw cards, the NGV is back in business and it's back in style with a blockbuster French Impressionist exhibition. So it's au revoir from me, Pete. Merci, au revoir. Thank you, Maddie. And Melbourne, that's what's news this Friday. How is my French there? Uh, Deb Knight next with The Current Affair. From all of us, have a great weekend. Good night.